Hey guys, welcome to part 7 of the Bad Sheet Maker. Let's get going. Okay, guys, so to create the um, Excel Reader, uh, we're going to come over here, we're going to create a new class. Add new item Excel Reader. Okay. And then we're going to make this a public class so we can use it elsewhere and then we're going to uh, create a method and it's going to be public static void read excel okay and in that right we're just going to do um, uh, we're going to do external command data And data, and then we're gonna have to import the UI. Great. And then we're also going to have um, so to do this, we're gonna need a, a title block element ID and then a file path for um, creating the sheets uh, from the Excel file. Okay, so that's gonna be element ID. Yeah, <clears throat> it's gonna be title block ID. And then string path or file path. Okay. If this is your first time coding and you're learning this right? I definitely recommend going and checking out my other videos. Uh, but basically, so these are basically the um, the requirements that this method needs in order to run. Okay, if it doesn't get these, then it's gonna have issues. Okay, so in order for this to run, right, we're gonna need to pass it a title block ID um, in the file path, okay? It's basics of it. <clears throat> All right, and then here, um, let's see, oops, we're gonna get this guy in. Element, thank you, why don't you put me in? There we go, bring rev d. Okay. All right, and so to bring this in, we're gonna come back over to our command.cs, we're just gonna copy and paste. All right, top stuff is going to be this. Oops. And paste that guy right here. And then inside here, right, we're going to do, oops, we're going to import the application, which is going to be application services for Revit. Great. Okay. And we're going to do uh, using bar stream equal to system dot io dot file dot open and it's going to be file path and file mode open open and then file access dot read. Okay. So this basically says okay, it's gonna open whatever file you tell it to, and then it's gonna it's gonna open it, right? And then it's going to read that file. Okay. Different from uh, write, right? Or read and write. Okay. Alright, and so inside of that guy, it's gonna be a uh, IXL data reader. And that's gonna be IXL. Data reader. It's going to be Excel data reader. And this is going to be an import. And you see install package data reader, right? Right there. It's all the latest version. All right. And if you see check references, it's also right here too, okay? Uh, and then from there, we're going to it's equal to Excel data reader. Dot Excel data reader factory. Dot create reader. 
Yeah. And then string. And we're gonna do var conf is equal to new Excel data set configuration. And so we need to install Excel data set, Excel data reader dot data set. And we're the latest version. Okay. And then from there, we are going to. Okay. It's going to be configured data table is equal to A is equal to. New cell data table configuration. All right. And then you set a row and you say it's fully true. Okay. Cool. And then come out of that. And then from there. Come on. Oops. The error function. Okay. All right, guys. So now we're going to do. Uh, it's going to be data set. Data set. To Excel data reader dot as data set and then the import <clears throat> and then we're gonna do data table Oops. data table is equal to data set dot tables and they're just telling us that it's going to look for in sheet one and then data row collection goes to data set dot tables sheet one dot rows and then columns is going to be data row Oops, data column collection columns is equal to data set dot tables sheet one dot columns. Okay. All right, and then we're going to do a, a, a check for null or empty, right? And it's going to be pool test for null or empty string s. And then to me, for results, result is equal to s is equal to null, or s is equal to string dot empty, and return result. Okay, and then we're gonna come down here. And we're going to do int count is equal, we're going to have to set a counter to zero. So int count equal to zero. Uh, create a list object row data list is equal to null. And then list object all rows list 
we'll new list object. And then for each data row item in rows. And then this is where, where we check for null or empty. So it's going to be if test for null or empty, and that's going to check the item, the first item. String, string, the false. So if it's false, then we're going to do this. It's going to be view sheet, sheet is equal to view sheet. Doc, create doc and title block. Title block ID. Okay. And then we're going to set the sheet number, sheet dot sheet number is equal to this is pull from the column, it's going to be item zero dot two string. And then we're going to set the sheet name. It's going to be our second column, right? And then we're going to set the sheet suborder. And use that using the lookup parameter sheet suborder dot set. And we're going to set the count. And after that, then our counter that we set up here is just going to increment by doing plus plus. Okay. And that's just going to go from, it's going to run zero. And it's gonna hit you, and it's gonna go one, and then plus plus two, and then plus plus three. And if that doesn't work, then it's gonna be an else. And then we're gonna say debug.print just so we know. And then we say uh, line rows empty. And of course, you don't have to have this be a line, but I like, I like to have it just so I know what's going on. And Bring in diagnostics. Great. Okay, and that's it for the cell reader. Now we got to do the same thing for a CSV reader. It's a little different since the CSV. Um, and we'll go back to our command.cs. Or sorry, I take it back. Let's go to command.cs and then go to our bottom, and then bring in the Excel. And that's going to be. You can say Excel reader dot Excel, and it's going to take in the command data, comma title block ID, comma file name. Great. Okay. Now we're going to do the CSV. Yeah. So part seven is getting a little long. Uh, I'm going to cut it right here, and then I'll see you in part eight.